<laughs> what are we doing? Don't you just love starting an unboxing dancing? Are you kidding? It's, it's just my favorite is. thing of the day. This is what I do when you do unboxing usually. Oh, I know. You know Irina's happy when she starts bouncing. It's just so great. It's my happy dance. That's how I call it. Do you have a happy dance? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Welcome to Unboxing with Erin and Irina. <laughs> We're so glad you can join us today. We are so excited about the fabrics we're gonna talk about today, but really before we get too into it, we would like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded uh, territories of the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam peoples. Uh, so fabrics today, I'm really excited. We have some very, very interesting materials and they are all vintage. I love vintage. Do you love vintage? Vintage is pretty amazing. How do you feel about vintage? Yeah, how do you feel about vintage? Yeah, there's, I love vintage. Me too. Uh, I know that there's so many different smells that I get <laughs> when there's something vintage. And it one depends on how it's been stored sometimes when you get really strong kind of almost even like mothballs been sitting in a cedar chest vintage wow it's very vivid very vivid <laughs> or uh just the print could be something yeah. that's vintage um and and the feel like even the mm. fabrics like there are some fabrics they just don't make them anymore for various reasons some of them are really good mm -hmm. uh, but some of them are just like you know supply and demand they're just they're they don't exist anymore because trends change, fashions change, mm -hmm. prints change, businesses opened and closed. So there's a lot of various reasons. And so we actually get a lot of vintage stuff um, and we decided to do a drop for just vintage because we have a lot of it and they're all awesome. And so why not do that, right? So uh, just before we really get into them, I want to really explain what vintage means. Okay. Do you know what vintage means? Because there's vintage, and then there's like retro, and then oh. there's like out of fashion, and Whoa. it's kind of like a whole like age range of materials, and that's where that comes from. Okay, so side note, Erin is actually a stylist along among other stuff that she does. And so if there's anybody that knows about this kind of stuff, that would be Erin. So Erin, what is vintage? Vintage is anything that is 20 years or older. Is that 25? Might be 25. I thought it's, okay, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Maybe 20, 25. Okay, you know what? Let us know. <laughs> yeah, if you know. Just Google it. Me. Uh, <laughs> but generally, rule of thumb for myself, when it comes to fashion or prints or things like that, anything older than 20 years mm. is vintage. Which is insane because 20 years would still be 2000s. I know. I, like, I remember so where anything, it was in 2000s. Right? That is I know. Crazy. So technically right now, those of us who were <laughs> born in the late 80s, early 90s, we're considered vintage so, now. No, we're way more than vintage, aren't we? Because that's We're not like, ancient yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but going back to okay. fabrics, we're fabrics. Still vintage. So this is way more than vintage then. Because yeah. like, okay, like just this holding this fabric, mm -hmm. this is no way this is from 2000s. This one, I would Definitely. say like the 70s, like this type of fabric. I don't like know 80s? that it's this old. Really? This, this okay, one is the Transfer Tex fashion design. Yeah. Um, Here we go. Let's and go it has a, like a trademark on yeah. it. Sorry, Erin. And this, yeah, sometimes it'll have like where the fabric was made, like a, or like the brand that made it or that yeah. kind of thing. This, just looking at the print, I will say this is probably early 90s. Oh, that's early 90s. Wow, I was way off. So that's kind of interesting. I, it has like, this fabric is like, I, you would make like a nighty gown out of it. Definitely a night, a night gown. But that's, uh, yeah. that print, like I wouldn't call it You could it even 90s. use this type of knit. This is a knit fabric, by the way, that ah. you can use this type of knit uh, to do drapery. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we? Is there enough of a drapery? No, it's probably just maybe a like nighty. one small curtain out of it, but <laughs> 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 but teaser. definitely nightgown. This would be a okay. really cute or like you know the, like the not cozy house coats, like more of like a bathrobe that's like. Why would you not want to have slinky a looking versus oh, okay, lingerie okay, okay. versus okay. housewear? Uh, okay, okay, I, I this not <laughs> even in my like vocabulary. Like if it's not cozy, it's just like <laughs> okay. No, this would definitely be more of like the the slinky lingerie robe. Okay, I like that slinky lingerie robe. 
Yeah. Cool. And it says there's a print on it that says Transfer Tex Fashion Design. I wonder if they're still around. That would be kind of cool. That'd be really interesting to look up and see yeah. if it's, it's still yeah, around. Right. It may not be. I don't know. But there it is. We have it. This is our first fabric. And by the way, super nice to be here today. I yeah. really enjoyed, uh, like, wanted to join this unboxing. We're still New Year, January, almost end of January. I know. So it's I'm crazy. Like, okay, let's, like, shake things up. <laughs> I, I love how fun. we always feel like the year goes by so fast right at but the beginning. It does. It does. All right, what's our next one, Irina? Okay, I'm gonna, we have a big pile of stuff here. However, I am going to just like reach out and grab the first thing. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was not planned at all, that I was gonna get something <laughs> like that's textury. Also, by the way, Irina has not seen any of these fabrics. I have so. not. I have not smelled them either. This definitely, like, this could be something that is from the 70s. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, let's let's show them, though. Let's show them closer. Okay, here we go. Whoa, here we go. This is, it feels nice. However, I wouldn't put it directly against my skin. I would probably have some lining beside it. This is actually really gorgeous. It has those, like, plaid kind of print, mm -hmm. if you can see it. But there's also... Um, Within it, like woven, there's little t uh, different colors of like yarn. It's really hard to see, but in the photos of this fabric that is going to be available at 4:30 today, uh, you can see a close-up of this, and it's actually really nice. It's not very, very thick. I would say it's like a medium weight. Um, I don't know if it's wool or if it's a blend. We'll have to do a burn test. We'll have to do a burn test. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like this is going to be wool. Yeah, I, I feel I have it a too. feeling. You can um, feel it, you know? This has like red, bright green, yeah. purple, See the orange, yellow, yeah. navy. Cool. It's just such a cool. Yeah. How and it's wide a basket is it? weave. Oh, it's, it's a basket, basket weave. That's really is cool. Yeah. Wow, I love it. What's our width here? Uh, let's see. I don't know. Let's see the width. I is. always have uh, tape measures taped on all the edges of my cutting table. So. Yeah. It's like uh, one, we're 150. at 152. 152. Yeah, pretty standard. That's pretty yeah. good. Oh, this would make such a great, like, jacket. This would be a suit, actually. This, I think, is enough for, like, a <gasps> small suit. A double-breasted jacket. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. Do you have a good good pattern for something like that? Yeah. Can you recommend a pattern? I'm just curious. Like, do you, like, who, do you have, what was the last time you made a suit, actually? I know, like, we're, we're in all such home. cozy times now. Well, um, yeah, that's a good way of saying that. But we're all like in the house, like, but that would be interesting. All right, next one. Next one. Okay, I'm gonna reach into the bin of treasures and pull out. Oh, okay, what's that? <gasps> yes. Ooh. Oh, interesting. So, it has a bit of stretch. Yes. Oh, so this, the description is stretch wool suiting. Oh, okay. So sometimes, okay, again, like we get super random stuff. We don't know where they came from. We don't know how long the people had them. This one particularly, oh, damn, look at this. This one came with a tag. We don't know the tag, but in the back it says uh, meter 65 per piece. And um, it says for 41.20. So that was the price of wh whatever, whoever that bought, person it. bought it. Yeah don't know when but it, if it came from the same person it might be from the 90s so inflation this probably is like what usually <laughs> stretch wool would have been more 90s 80s is 90s it? yeah oh, interesting. it's really soft it's really soft it also has a fiber content which we never get which oh. is really interesting i know and it says nylon spandex and wool but it doesn't say how its percentages is like um, and it also says dry clean which is really interesting and i hate dry clean to be honest <laughs> i know i'm so, not a huge fan of it either there's yeah. a lot of chemicals and stuff that go into dry cleaning. Um, wow, so this is beautiful. I generally, for this kind of thing, even though it's stretch, I would say you could probably cold water delicate cycle hmm. in a garment bag. You probably should test it though before you do that. Yeah. Like in a small, like a little Which is why I always say wash your fabrics before you make your garments out of it because one, you can get your pre-shrinkage done if there if it hasn't be pre been pre-shrunk, especially wool things. Amen. And uh, <laughs> also, again, if it's vintage, we don't know how long it's been sitting around. So it's probably got a lot of dust and particles like that in it. So mm. you probably want to give it a wash before you use it. Yeah, but this one is a really Really beautiful piece i wonder oh, if you yeah. can even capture that on the photo um it has like this like almost like a like stripey kind of finish it's really beautiful it's a very i can't remember the exact name but i know it's a type of crepe 
Oh, really? Yeah. That's a crepe? Yeah. That's so interesting. The suiting crepe. It's oh, really suiting cool. crepe. That's yeah. a new one for me. It's very soft, like very, very soft. It feels really nice against yeah. your skin. Yeah. And it has like a really nice drape to it actually. It's like it's like moving really nicely. These would it's make actually the best trousers. That's true. Or actually, yeah, I don't know, like anything would that would be really cool. And because it has a bit of stretch, it kind of it's probably gonna sit really nicely uh, on your body, just like how it fits. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's a, this is like a dark chocolate brown. Very I would say. very dark. It's not chocolate. black. It's yeah. dark chocolate brown. It's gorgeous. All right, what's next? Right, next one. Yeah. Okay. So if you have any questions, just holla. If you want to see Please. something up close, just let us know. We're monitoring all the comments. We want to make sure everything is answered. Whoa. Mm hmm. I want to say that's my favorite. I haven't seen the rest. So far, already. But, okay. But I'm committed. Like, this is my jam. <laughs> or jammy. <laughs> exactly. That's what this is for, jammies. <laughs> it's so bright. I'm such an nerd. It's so bright. These are like... What are they? Are they daffodils? I think they're roses. Yellow roses? No. Oh yeah, there might be roses. Or maybe yellow daisies. They're really intricate little intricate. tulips. There's a couple different kinds of flowers I on here. Know. But it's a it's a field of flowers. That's what it is. I don't know if you can even tell on camera. Like it's so it looks a bit washed on camera, but it has like really small flowers. Just a print of small flowers in a in the very yellow. They're yellow flowers in the in the background. Like the the back is like is a uh, very light yellow and it's gorgeous it's kind of like the same like fabric like synthetic fabric that is very like you said it's 90s that would be great for lingerie yeah and this um, is a, a rib knit mm. so it's a very tight tight rib knit so it has a slight two-way stretch yeah. which is why it would be for nightgowns or pajamas I it like is uh, only semi-opaque, I would say. Oh, yeah, here. Definitely, it's hand. a little sheer, so this could be great lingerie. Again, it could be a lingerie robe, Yeah. that kind of thing. Oh my gosh, a little baby doll set. Yeah, Do you it's know a lot what, of, You, you know could, the baby doll set, right? Yeah, but you can make a lot of oh. doll sets out of this. How many dolls do you <laughs> well, have? No, the production? baby doll is like a type of pajama. Oh, oh baby doll. I'm thinking like... <laughs> Like the little boxer shorts and then the little long A-line wow. tank top and I you had lace. I like dolls, like actual oh, dolls. Like actual <laughs> like baby dolls. I mean, you could definitely match out your doll's outfit. Why not? Like a whole like, like, <laughs> like a row of porcelain like a, dolls. Yeah. Like, why would you make them? I don't know. Everybody's thinking different. I love it. I love it all. Cute. Next okay, one. All right. Next one. Oh, I got it. Oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's matching what I'm wearing. Ooh, that, oh, ooh. it does match what you're wearing right now. Oh, somebody might need to fight Irina for this oh one. Oh my god, I think I we I haven't done a burn test yet, but I think this is wool. This it's is wool. damn. I can feel it. Okay, the there's a lot of this. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, fabric. <laughs> Behind the scenes of like how we actually like deal with Act. fabric, <laughs> like for real. This has like a light light green in it. Great. with oh, yeah. cream and burgundy it's so pretty yeah it's very light underlying green so you can see primarily like the the light pink and the burgundy uh stripes it's uh it's probably is wool and it's it's very light it's summer very summer weight suiting yeah summer weight wow this would be uh, actually anything this this would absolutely be gorgeous anything. it could yeah. literally be anything and it's pretty neutral. i'm just like i just want to like do a little skirt with your outfit right now so skirt? cute like a wrap skirt yeah a little okay. wrap skirt so it has a little slit you show your leg hello uh, she's got the greatest gams oh my god <laughs> next okay <laughs> change the subject <laughs> I'll do get some green in here. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Cotton. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's oh. so much cotton coming out this weekend. Ooh. I am so excited about it. That's great. Wow, there's a lot of it. There's, there's a lot this. of this oh, one. This is the back. This is the front. Yeah. Here. It's pretty like rigid. It's light, but it's pretty rigid. Like it's not very drapey. This would definitely be more for like making like a tablecloth or curtains mm. or uh, housewares out of. You can make. Yeah. Uh, you could even do like some face masks and stuff out of this oh, yeah. for current times, yeah, but so. um, this is definitely vintage. This is one that smells like it's been sitting for a little it. while. You don't smell it? I smell the other ones. This one it's subtle smell. on this one. Hey, Erin, so what do you do with the smells actually? Like you have a smell, let's say you're not a big fan of like the vintage smell. How do you mm -hmm. take it out? I give it a little wash with some vinegar. 
Hmm. So if I have like a full piece like this, just this piece is gonna go in the washing machine. It would be on, for my full machine that I have, I would do a small load setting, cold water wash, cold water rinse. I put in a quarter cup of vinegar and that's it. And the vinegar will one, help set any colors and take oh. out impurities and it will help take away any odors. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a good tip. Thanks, Erin. Thanks. All right, let's move on. We have so many, so many. Let's see. Um, ooh, okay. Where's your other stuff, by the way? Where's your fleece? I'll grab them. Okay. We got two <gasps> that are the same and they're kind of like matchy. Oh my God. It's like a... a that's like a bridesmaid's almost <gasps> colors. Oh my <laughs> God, bridesmaid's robes. Oh my God. Or even just like best friend's robes. BSF? Huh? huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I will rock this one. You would rock the pink and yeah. I would rock the blue. Totally. Yeah, okay, okay. Erin and I are we in our robes? Are we gonna do this? No. No, we Come gotta on. let you no, do we it. have enough. You're gonna do it for no. your friends and your family around the house. Oh my gosh, matching like parents and kids robes around the house. I'm still thinking ah. about baby dolls, so I don't know why. <laughs> like little dolls everywhere, oh like matching God. outfits. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, oh, I love okay. this. This is so incredibly soft. Look I definitely drink. think this is polyester. Again, this is a very slight rib knit with only two-way stretch. Great for pajamas, incredibly great for pajamas. Yes. Even if you wanted to do more of like a dressed up wide leg, high-waisted trouser in satin Ooh. right now, this almost has like a satin finish on it. So it has that shininess, which is really, really pretty. Oh, I smell it though. Like it has Definitely. like a light smell, like a vintage smell, but it's, you know what? It's gorgeous. It's synthetic. It's the same kind of style as like the other ones we showed. Like yeah, the same as like the yellow ones and the other yeah. ones. Uh, it's gorgeous. But again, it's like, if that's the look you're looking for, you're gonna have a piece that is like very unique looking because of the fabric. So it's pretty damn gorgeous. Definitely, again, I think this is like 90s, even 80s. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's move on. We have next. so many. Okay, next, next, next. Ooh, okay, let's do some prints. Oh, yeah, let grab just, all those just, florals. Let's do some prints. Okay, so this yep. one might be a roll. Yep. I have oh. not measured it yet. What oh, that? what it was intended for. Okay, surprise. Uh, how much you want to guarantee that's for a quilt? <gasps> yes. So sometimes we do find surprises, like different like Ooh. notes and things like that. And it's awesome because we, we want to know what people we're working on. And there's like a little note with some calculations for a quilt. Uh, so thank you, whoever we got this from. Uh, we will make sure this is going for good use. And it's all, look, look, this is all matching. I love it. This it all so goes together. Yeah. This one's really cute. It's got like red and blue and teal, mm -hmm. uh, little floral stripes in it. Oh, and there's this one. This one is like a light blue with purple oh. and blue ivy and floral and on exactly it. Exactly the same print, but in yellow is right here. Yeah, Which exact same print, different colorway. Yep. So the back is not printed, it's only the front. So it's a great quilting weight or like mask making or anything you want to make out of cotton. It's pretty, pretty good. Even these could be great pajama pants, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. I can see this being like, like apparel or quilting or just anything really. Oh my gosh, really. these match the other ones we just brought out. Do like a little uh, cotton top with the satin pajama bottoms. Oh, I can see that. Okay. Mix okay. them together. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like this one too. This one's uh really beautiful pink i really I really like this today pink. i don't know why this oh yeah wait this is the back or the front oh yeah that's the, that's the, the front. front there you so go so we've got like a fuchsia pink with white roses mm -hmm. and like a bright almost aqua green uh as the leaves so it's very bright but also kind of like pastel -y subtle it's really an interesting print you'll see it more up close in the product photos all of these, Irina, are going to be live when? 4.30. 4.30. Pacific time. Yes, Pacific time. That's right. Which is very, very soon. So soon, 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 soon. Tune in. It's going to be on their unboxing collection. Go to our website. Or Fabcycle.shop. That's right. Awesome. Alrighty. So, next one is this gorgeous green. Mm. I am just obsessed with this green i know so many of you are obsessed with it's green like emerald. or forest like i would high? say emerald dark emerald dark emerald. okay yeah jewel tone emerald jewel tone. Wow, uh so there's nice. a lot of this this might be a roll i have a feeling oh, it's gonna okay. be a roll okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's yeah. definitely wool Ooh. 
It is definitely vintage. Wow, yeah, it's, it's soft. A, it's a twill weave. We've got the diagonal for the twill weave. And uh, those? suiting weight, definitely suiting weight. Like it's like medium suiting, medium weight. Would medium, you say? I would say medium weight. Yeah, yeah. It's very soft. It's very smooth. It's oh yeah, really, really nice fabric. Beautiful. It's very. It slides right on yeah. the skin. It's so nice. Butter, butter, like butter, 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 butter. butter, butter. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah, love this green. All right, what's next? Okay, next one. Oh, I have a. Mm, which one should I? It's, mm, mm, this one? Yeah, that no. one. Okay. <laughs> okay. That one I did see right before we started. I was like, oh my God, this is kind of amazing. Definitely, I think this is going to be a roll. There's so much of it. It's I don't just, know. I think this one is my favorite. No, you already said your favorite one. I haven't seen this one. <laughs> Can I go back? I just want to find the edge here, oh, here that here. has... <gasps> oh, that was the back? That's, that's the, the back. Oh, I know. That's, that's even better. Oh my God. Okay, let's, let's, let's show this. This has oh screen God. printed embroidery from Hamel Textiles. Well, cool. and it's eyelet. It's eyelet. So it's embroidered. It's eyelet. Embroidered. Yeah, it's really embroidered really eyelets oh with this beautiful, like, very detailed floral print. It's got a lot of detailing in this print. Yeah, this would be. Uh, so I mean, pretty. anything you make out of this would actually be like a like a head turner. Seriously, this is absolutely beautiful and. Whatever you make out of this, people are gonna ask where you got it from. And vintage. It's vintage, completely vintage. 100% cotton. Even the yeah, I smell the it. but thread. it's beautiful. It's great. It's very. It's not very wide, as you can see. So, but that's pretty common for like specialty fabrics like this. I'd say so. it's like 110 centimeters, probably. Yeah, which is very common. Yeah. Alrighty, let's move on. We have still a bunch oh. of stuff, and we have a little surprise for you for Diane. So keep watching. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's do this one. So this one I found, and I think recently this whoever donated donated a whole bunch of corduroy. Oh, it's a corduroy. It's a corduroy, wow. but it's a very different kind of corduroy. Oh yeah. Okay. So wow. this is black, and it's got a very wide, um, it's a wide rib, corduroy. wide ridge corduroy. Ridge or rib? Ridge. Ridge. Rib. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's but the width is again, it's not very it, yeah, wide. It's, like it's just one fifteen, like one ten, one fifteen. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, we have the measurements at four thirty. Yeah, you, when you yeah. See you'll it. be able to see it. But this has like normally for a corduroy, you'll just see like a bump, a bump, a bump mm -hmm. for the the ridging. But this one, it has like the ridge, and then it goes down, and then it has the ridge, and then it goes down. Wow. So it's a little wider than your typical, but it's very lightweight. Yeah. It's definitely cotton. Yeah. And uh, you can just feel it in a in a um, yeah in a corduroy. Soft. You can definitely feel you it. You know what? The only thing with corduroys that I personally don't like as much is that it attracts like hair. Like if you have dogs, like I do, if I wear this, it might be a little tricky to just like make it clean. So, just a word of caution that just that's with corduroy in general and some other fabrics. But if you're not worried about this, this is absolutely beautiful fabric and it's soft and it's beautiful and it's black and there's like, I don't so know. So you know those like old smoking jackets where they're made out yeah. of like almost even professor style jackets where they have, it's like a velvet or the corduroy and it's just like even double breasted or just two buttons in the front. And then it has the leather patch on the elbow. And the big glasses. And the big glasses. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Keep talking. Do a little wide leg pant with a cuff on the bottom. Yeah. You got your Oxford shoes. Like, You're really it's a look. A, like an image. It's pretty good. <laughs> By the pretty way, good. we still have leather scraps right now. Oh, we do? Oh, we it's going to be for patches. You know what it would be good for? Buttons. Oh yeah, leather Can button, leather cover covered. Button? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a side note. Let's let's yeah, go no, back. No, we definitely okay. have leather scraps right now, so check out the website for those. <laughs> We're really good at distractions, but it's, <laughs> we keep each other like on track. All right. Ooh, what's that? That's interesting. That's, you gotta get the right oh, side the of the fabric. <laughs> Ooh, and look at that. Tropical. All right. <laughs> that's, is it? Oh uh, yeah, I guess tropical. That's interesting fabric, though. What is that? This the definitely is, smell is vintage. I can That's tell it's polyester. Yeah, you can sure. feel that polyester in this. But it's still soft. That's the thing. I would say this is definitely like early '80s. No, but what kind of fabric is that? It's really interesting. If it's you knit. It, yeah, it's just really. Um, it's like it's knit, but uh, the it's almost thread like in between a rib and a gauze. Yeah, exactly. So the there's yeah. the threads. There's like 
there's a gap between the th the, the actually the rows of the, of the of the thread, and you can see the threads in between. Uh, but you can't, so it makes it kind of actually like almost see through. But because of the pattern, it's not as much. But it's it's really nice. It'll be really great as yeah. like a like a fall or spring kind of fabric. That would be really. <laughs> Yeah, this, this I love this tropical print. It's great. Okay, so this has a little bit of what some may call pilling, oh. but it's a part of the knit of the fabric. It's all over, oh. and it's a part of that knit to give it like a texture. So that's intentional pilling? It's intentional. I didn't even notice it until you said that. I know, right? It's got these little white pills all over it, and it's part of how it's knit together. Yeah, it's so yeah. weird. It's, uh, it's very even all across the fabric, so it, it looks like it is intentional. This mm -hmm. is, okay, well, note to self. Yeah. Cool. Pilling so it's cool. It's not <laughs> going to be listed as a imperfection. Okay. Because it's an all over. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have a few more, and then we have some surprise for you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this one. Actually, this one too, because it's kind yeah, of the same category. They're, they're same category. There's a couple other, uh, I know, we've got our huge pile here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We've got our, some suiting, some more suiting. Ooh. And these are definitely wool suiting. This is just <gasps> like, oh my God, heaven yeah. to touch. You know, you know when you like feel suiting fabric and then you feel another suiting fabric and you like, <clears throat> this is like, this is like night and day. It looks the same, but this one is so soft. It's, it, it is like butter, seriously, like the drape. This is unbelievably nice. There's just enough of this gray pinstripe oh, yeah. for like a pencil skirt. Yeah, or something smaller. Yeah, even a vest. Yeah, yeah. Or even like if you want to make something with it, as long as it's like the same weight of fabric, that would, totally would work. Sometimes too, I find fabric like this, it's very cool to the touch. If you need a lot of um, uh, textiles, uh, uh, not textiles, textures is the word I'm looking for. If you need a lot of textures, to be able to either calm yourself in a moment or it's like a comfort thing for yourself. It's nice to have something like this, even though it's intended for clothing, as like a pillow or even mm. like a little stuffy toy um, to be able to touch and feel good and kind of bring your, yeah, ground it's, yourself it's again. your sensories. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. So this one is, I think this is either poly or a blend, but it's still nice. Uh, and it's just like a small-ish bundle of fabric. It might be even wool blend, but I think there's definitely some poly yeah, inside. It's definitely a twill weave yeah. as well. This is like a dark green or like gray, I don't know. I it's would like, you go know, more like somewhere in between. Olivey gray. Yeah, 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 I can see that. But we got some suiting, which is fabulous. All right. Okay, let's combine these guys as well. Oh. Well, this is more of that pink from earlier. So yeah. we got a couple of bundles oh, of that. Okay. And then we have a And then we have a little bit of black of the same material. So you could right. do some lining, bring in some black. Okay, all right. <laughs> So I'm, dots. I'm going to talk about this one mm -hmm. while Erin's going to go get the other surprise that we have for you. And if you stay with us until now, we are happy to share with you some really cool stuff coming up. So this one is the last fabric we wanted to show you right now from the, the bin that we have ready for you. And it's a really beautiful cotton print. Whoops, let's see. Um, oh, that something is vintage. You can really smell it. Um, it has some really interesting kind of like features on the th th the fabric itself, but it has like a lot of polka dots. It's beautiful and it's going to be great with any project you're going to make out of it. All right, ready? Are you ready to bring the little surprise? I'm ready. All right, bring it over. Bam! Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell we spend a lot of time together? This yeah. is a big donation that we got the other day of all this amazing technical fleece yeah it's polar tech it's all polar tech. branded polar tech and it's absolutely drop dead gorgeous Seriously. i love all these bright colors this is like a huge big bright lime green yeah. this one is actually different than the other ones so yeah actually, you can talk about this one first so we have a we have we have about one two one two three four we have five colors in total because mm -hmm. one we already dropped last week um, but we have four new colors coming up. They're all neon colors. They're gorgeous colors. Three of them are the same kind, and then this one is a bit different. This is very lightweight fleece. Very, very lightweight. Very thin, very easy to play with. We've got two-way stretch, mm -hmm. and there's quite a bit of stretch in it, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the two-way is actually quite a lot. But, however, this one is interesting. So this one, um, there's one side. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah, awesome. Okay, let me just do the flip and then I'll talk about it. I was like, I don't think I was talking about it. 
So this one it has interesting things. So one side is the fleece, mm -hmm. but then the other side is almost looks like the wrong side of the fabric. So I would guess this one is really good for lining mm. if you need something. It's unbelievably soft. It's very soft. It's very smooth. It feels extremely high quality fabric. And it is a branded Polar Tech. So you know they has probably some other properties like possibly like um, wind or Maybe water wicking Lip. even. Maybe, we don't know really, but we it, have to, it is branded. We have to look at it a little bit more, but I am so excited that this is going out today. We've got this gorgeous <gasps> yellow. Yes. Let's actually show me another fabric just in comparison because we just showed the green one. Okay, sure. Yeah, just so you can see the texture and the difference between the one that we just shown. So this is the blue slash almost even like a tealy blue. Like it's just so bright. Yes. I really love this. Young so blue. this side has like what would be like the outside of the sweater like that you would touch it's very smooth and then the inside is the fleecy side it's it's also a four-way stretch so it has actually two fabrics that are uh, that has like an adhesive on them they're together so one side is that same fleece as you feel the green neon one but the back is as a knit like a just like a kind of like a uh, I don't know if it's in Jersey. I'm not sure it's Jersey, but it is definitely kind of like knit. in between Jersey and soft shell. Yeah, ex yeah, roughly yes. And so, um, yeah, and so it's really beautiful. It's not very thick. It's like perfect for just make your like your to go like go exercise in the winter kind of like uh, an outfit. And we got this gorgeous pink. Okay, I literally have a shirt that I bought years ago with this fabric, this specific color, and this exact fabric. <laughs> I which love is it. Insane. It's so soft. I just want to pet it all day. We'll keep up. all day. We'll give a little sample. It's a good thing I have a rolls here because I just give them hugs sometimes <laughs> when you just need a hug of from that fabric. is not an exaggeration. <laughs> I sometimes do find Erin just hugging a roll. They're very huggable. They're really they big. They are very. They're, they're tall. They're soft. Perfect. Yeah, for hugs. A little cuddle. Okay. <laughs> yes. And last one is this yellow one, which is exactly the same one as we got in blue and pink, but it is in yellow. It's it is so neon. So neon. <laughs> it's so neon. I might actually take some to make something with this, the neon. Like this would outfit. be great <gasps> for like evening walking cool. wear <gasps> for visibility. Are you kidding? This is streetwear. <laughs> Like full on streetwear. You mix just make these two together, mix those two together, and then you got some really great oh, outfits going on. Like a full sweatshirt and like sweatpants. And, and then matching doggy jacket. I have one for me. You know, like <laughs> Caesar. And my Not doggy. for you, it's too nice. Like, no, no, he gets Caesar. the less nice fleece. He doesn't care. <laughs> I love it. I want it all. But we've got these four brand new colors going out right now. You can get them right, right now. Yes. Surprise. Surprise. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us and talking about all these like amazing vintage fabrics and Whee. keep your eye out. We've got all kinds of um, vintage panels and stuff coming up for the weekend. And uh, our next time to tune in uh, is going to be on February 8th. You can join me then through our Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're at. Uh, you can go back to it and not watch it live if you don't want to. Yeah. And please sign up to our newsletter because we have lots of surprises coming up for people that are signed up to our newsletter. Uh, send us messages. We love talking to you. We are the team. So we are actually answering all your messages and all your emails. And we love to know what you're working on and help if we can. Thank you so much. We love you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.